can we all agree it's about time when you look around our communities and you'll understand why I titled this video, there will never be a revolution? How can there be a revolution? Have you seen our people yet? The the the, the games we play with each other, the, the dumb shit we try to attack, uh, attack each other for? Have you seen the so-called elders who exploit our people every day? You know, all these black, pro-black YouTubers of the world. Like, just look around you. How are you going to get a revolution with a YouTube video? <laughs> you niggas is mad at me about some of the controversial videos that I'm doing that's telling the truth about our people. But yeah, you want me to sit back and tell my kids, look, we're going to get a revolution because these niggas got YouTube channels and niggas who follow them. First of all, I'm going to hurt your feelings, man. Them niggas in their YouTube channels who talk about pro-black issues and awareness, and this, they're exploiting you people for money, and I'm not mad at them. This is a capitalist country. In fact, I implore a lot of you guys go do the rest because it seems to be a, a, a game changer in our communities. Get online, turn your camera on, and talk about black issues, and watch the money come ringing in, watch the donations come ringing in, yet there is no solution. And if you niggas go with me because we know how our niggas are, our so-called brothers and sisters are, you're going to say, well, what's your solution? I have no solution for you niggas. I'm going to be so honest. Over the years in the trepidations I've been through dealing with our people and the harm, the inflictions, the stab wounds I got from our people, the gunshots, I'm not even talking about military um, gunshots I got, the gunshots I've taken from our people and the things that go on, well, I implore you to understand that I'm only out for thyself. I hate to keep it real. I I'm going to just be the first one giving you medicine you need to hear. I implore you guys, go take care of your family, your kids, and your great-grandkids. I mean, establish a pattern that can protect your great-great-grandkids in this world we live in. Stop going around listening to these YouTubers um, projecting all these buffoonery things to you guys and telling you guys about the white man this, revolution this, because when the camera go turns off, they go back to their white neighborhoods, sort of kind of like me. They go back to their nice BMWs or their Mercedes, you know, their foreign vehicles. They go to their nice comfortabilities. You know what I'm saying? Like, pay attention to any black YouTuber who's... You'll think, whoo! Malcolm X, the brother polites of the world, the Tyreek Nashi, we can it's a lot of names of these brothers and sisters, right? Pay attention to any of these fools and watch when that camera turns off. You can watch them when that camera turns off. Go follow their backgrounds. I implore you, brothers and sisters, to go do your research. But niggas don't research. You hear good words? Yeah. You hear the good words that these estrogen-filled fake alpha males who are really beta males, you know, they tell you in order to be a black man, you need to do X, Y, and Z. But I've been watching these niggas on YouTube over the years, and these niggas X, Y, and Z, these niggas don't even start the ABC. Yet you niggas run and tell that with these niggas. These niggas do not think about you. Every time these niggas go through one of their period mood swings, they attack you people. They have videos coming at there. If you niggas don't donate enough to them, they attack you niggas for that. These niggas are on a thirst level to incorporate how much income they can gra grab from you guys. And I'm not mad at them. This is not me hating on them. What I always tell you guys, get as much as money you can from this YouTube shit or any other jobs or things you guys have in this world. I say you need to have an influx of income coming in and being generated from different sources of income other than your job only. So I'm not mad. My anger comes from when people try to tell me these people are new leaders. <laughs> leaders of what? I'm not even hating. Show me. Leaders of what? <laughs> leaders of what, man? This is the embarrassment I get from even being, you know, part of any of these groups. These people don't even support each other. <laughs> they don't even support each other. It's like your church, your black churches, right? All these black churches talk about we're in pain, suffering, we need God. But you'll find a black church on every block. How come these pastors don't get together to have one unity of a church service together? And I'm not talking about when they have their revivals. And because my dad's a pastor, I know the whole game. How come you guys don't, you know, come together because it's prideful? Our community suffers from way too much pride. Now it's this false black pride. <laughs> Your clothes are foreign. The food you eat is foreign. You you eat nothing. You don't even contribute to black owned businesses. But yet you want me to listen to the garbage and the hypocrisy you guys preach every given day.
the black the black revolution will never be televised because it never was there to start with. How can you have a revolution with niggas like that you see every day? Oh, I'm hating on niggas. I know. You know how I can freely say that without worrying about the viscerals of attack I'm about to get without caring about the dislikes? Because nobody knows a black man and woman better than another black man and woman. That means I know all you niggas know I'm telling the truth. But that shit that's in you guys here, your pride, is going to make you guys attack me. That buffoonery you guys have that exists in almost every single one of you people is going to alleviate the message you meaning that everything i'm saying is gonna go to one ear and out the other ear because you niggas when you hear a key word you stop listening all you gotta hear is something that forces a nigga to make accountability on thyself you niggas rinse it off you like a dirty pig that wants to be in the mud and that's what i call this black revolution shit it's a it's a mud that the pigs are swimming in and the pigs refuse to clean themselves up. And the black revolution will never be televised. Give up on it. There is no hope. Now, I know in my lifetime there will never be a black revolution. Does that mean I'm a sellout? No. Maybe my great-great-grandkids can bring the so-called revolution. But if you're going to keep selling to our people false lives and narratives because you want to fat in your pockets, at least have, have the, fucking, the fucking balls. To tell these people the truth that, look, man, there's no hope for us. I'm just out here to get my money. So I'm going to keep telling you that you're a victim. Because if I tell you you're a victim, the money can keep coming. If you, you black YouTubers told them people the truth, I'm telling you, they're so fucked up in the head, they'll still keep supporting you. Have a fucking blessed day. <laughs> black revolution. <laughs> Have you seen our people?